Aloha! Welcome back to day three of seven day gratitude challenge. I want to commend you for showing up for the third day in a row. So you're doing great and I really want to applaud you for showing up because showing up is usually the hardest part whenever we're trying to introduce new habits or make positive changes that we know are good for us but that's felt with some resistance so we're going to start today just some relaxation always grounding into all that's beneath you whether you're seated on a chair or floor just notice what's on the what, what you're sitting on what is beneath you and just root into it and feel as you take some deep diaphragmic breathing in and out through your nose. And then just take a moment to reiterate your intention that you set on day one. So I didn't mention the intention yesterday but it's something if you write down also the intention that you set for the seven day gratitude challenge, what you want to call in, um, because gratitude really opens you up to receive and opens your heart to that highest level for abundance, manifestation, and just positive mindset. Today, what we're going to be talking about is decluttering your physical space. So I would like to talk about the power of decluttering. And when you clean up physical space, letting go of things that are not no longer serving you, things you haven't been using, it really does affect your mind and it clears space for more new things to come in as well as gratitude. So especially if you're the type that has a hard time letting go. This is a great opportunity to start with something that you're not as attached emotionally. And with this practice today, I'm just gonna stick to a few things. But um, before we do that, let's just take a minute to write down three things we're grateful for, either just on a piece of paper, or whatever method you chose to do or on a journal, gratitude journal. And you can write the same thing if there's nothing to write, just write the sun, the moon, the air. There's always something to be grateful for. And it can be materialistic. It doesn't have to be all spiritual and you know, high, um, highly intellectual. And you don't have to show it to anyone. If you want to share what you're grateful for, you're also welcome to always share in the comments, interact with each other, or in the live chat if you're watching this during premiere. And I'm going to go back to the decluttering. So now that we're in day three, you've experienced this connecting to the energy of gratitude, being grateful for everything that's around you in terms of nature, being grateful through writing, the power of writing, and really making it physical. And if you've written down your intention, you can also read it every day before you write down your the three things that you're grateful for. And take some time today 
any time in the day. You can pick a very small area and either organize or if you don't want to throw out anything, you can just organize and then slowly, whenever you get the courage, you can throw away some things. But if it's something that hasn't been used and if it's just been piled up, you can um, throw it out. But when we throw out things that are not serving us anymore, this is what I learned from um, Marie Kondo, the magic of tidying up. You have to, it, it really helps when you really connect to the object you're letting go, give thanks for what it provided you during the time it was useful to you. And then you can either throw it out in the trash or if it's recyclable, put it in recycling because you want to be friendly and caring to the Mother Earth that supports us as a gratitude. Um, you want to show kindness and care towards Mother Earth. That's part of this gratitude practice challenge that we're doing. And if it's something that can be maybe donated to a woman's shelter or a charity organization that you know of that's doing a good work that really goes to someone that can use it. Or you can just give it to friends or someone if it's something nice but you're just not using. You can also give it to friends or family or anybody you know. Or you can even sell it if you want, but just give thanks, great, be grateful, and then part with it. And sometimes if you're really attached, it's really hard to let go, and that could affect you physically. So if you have any physical reactions or symptoms after you part with things, be really gentle with yourself. So for today, I just want you to start small and declutter or eliminate item that you're not that attached to emotionally. Or it, so it could just be organizing your file, maybe throwing away some old junk mail. That's good too, but even junk mail, just give thanks for whatever um, it came into your life for. So thank you so much for being with me for day three. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Aloha. See you tomorrow.